Good day everyone. Today guys, let's talk about the things you need to buy when you arrive here in the United States. I'm talking about a scenario wherein you want to buy things but you don't have a transportation because of some few reasons. One, delayed social security number. Number two, uh, delayed with the bank. Number three, the item that you want won't fit in your car. And number four, you don't know anyone who can help you transfer things to your house. So these are the things that I want to help you with by discussing these tips for you. And public transportation is also not an option. So today, we'll be doing online shopping using the Amazon app. Someone mentioned to me before to do an Amazon affiliate, so I'm doing it right now. So things I'll be discussing will be found on my link for you to click on to choose from, okay? So if you can, please visit those websites. Number one on the list is a bed. You might have an apartment, but if you don't have a bed, even just a foam, it will really be difficult and it would be like useless apartment for you. So for a bed, if you don't have any transportation, uh, the best option for you is to have it delivered to your house. And most of the times, uh, nowadays, you can buy things and they can deliver it to your doorstep. It will be just coming like this kind of size. Then after opening it up, it inflates to a bigger bed that's for you to lie on. It usually takes about like 12 hours to fully inflate, but you can use it within the first few hours that uh, you have opened it. For me and my wife, we bought this brand. It's a king size bed. And for us, it is okay. For me, I kind of like it, but my wife said it's too soft for her. So. It really depends on you. Uh, the good thing here in the United States, you can return anything you want after you purchase a thing. It usually takes about like 30 to 60 days. And I think for bed, you can also do that. And most of the time, like before, during the COVID, uh, if you don't want a bed, they won't even ask you to return it. They will ask you to discard it. So... Sometimes that's a plus <laughs> that happens to you. But I do hope so that you would like your bed and you would stick with it until you move out to the different house. The next after the bed, of course, you need pillows. Uh, I suggest just buying like a cheap pillow first. Then next time if you are like uh, able to access with transportation like you have your own car, then I suggest buying and trying those pillows out first. Uh, so you can buy just cheap ones. Then after the pillows, of course, you need some bed sheets for them. Uh, I would suggest to be cheaper, get the set once it comes with the pillowcase the blanket the comforter um flat sheet and those kind of things so it's best to get them as a set it is definitely cheaper uh during winter i would suggest trying to choose a very thick comforter or if you would like then just add in additional comforter that will really help during the winter season then for the bed frame, uh, you can go with this or you can go without it. It doesn't really matter. But if you really would like, I would suggest this one. This is what we bought using for our king size bed. Uh, then of course you also need some privacy especially if you have some neighbors like just beside your house so it's best to buy some curtains it will really help help give you the privacy that you need i would suggest if you buy one especially if you're a nurse and you're doing night shift go with the uh, total darkness or like complete blackout kind of curtains they will definitely provide a dark environment ideal for you for bedtime it also makes your room more colder because of the like a blackout thing for sunlight. So it makes it better, like more conducive. Uh, when you buy a curtain, try buying a curtain light as well if you don't have one. Uh, if you don't, you can also just buy some nail or some rope and tie both ends uh, just in for temporary means. Okay, so I think that's enough for, for the bedroom part. Now let's go to the food part. Uh, number one, definitely, definitely important. It's your rice cooker. Um, as much as you want to eat out every day or like uh, order stuff online, it will be too expensive. So it's best for you to cook your own meal. And of course for us Asians rice cooker is really important so this is really a must for you to have when you arrive here then of course you need some like uh, pans for you to cook for us we just started with one pan when we arrived here like a frying pan that has like a little more, more like a depth uh, for you to be able to cook some soups or those kind of things and of course you need some things to use to cook or like a uh, steer so you have to buy those things uh, scissors the next will be the plates and glasses of course you need them um, you might be able to bring some but if you can't, it's best to order them online. And I would suggest buying something like durable and of course microwavable and dishwasher safe. So those three are important, okay? So because here in the United States, most of the time you might encounter having some uh, dishwasher or having some microwaves. So it's best to buy things that you'll be able to use them on those kind of machines. It does make your life more comfortable. Then of course, you need some tables and chairs. I would suggest buying a simple small table for you to use. And importantly, they are foldable. Because most of the time, if you're coming here to the United States and you're just new, you might not stay in your apartment for 
that good. Give it some few months or a year before you buy things that are like kind of permanent to be in a place uh, bef uh, before you decide to. Because if not, you might have to endure like selling those things, bringing those to someone else. So it's best to buy things that are really easy to bring or put in the car. And uh, what I mean is they're like more portable. So buying foldable chairs, foldable uh, table would be really wise. Then, of course, you need some dish soap. Uh, for dish soap here, I would recommend buying the Don. Don is kind of like the joy back in the Philippines. They're really good. Uh, but if you want, there's like a cheaper version as well. Then, of course, you need a sponge. If you want a good sponge, buy Sponge Daddy. This is the super, like, best sponge out there. Uh, it doesn't wear off fast and it, like... Ours is like being used for about a year now and still good. So it's a really nice investment. So I would suggest buying that. So I think for the food category, I think that's enough for you to be able to like move on, like uh, live day by day. So let's move on to the next one. So after eating, you have to do this. So let's talk about toiletries. Uh, number one that you really have to bring here or order here is some tissues. Yes, that's most important because they don't have any bidets here. Unless you brought your own tabu <laughs> so that you brought in your maleta so you can use it as well. But if you don't have, it's best for you just to order tissue online. Uh, then for the tabu, you can order them online as well or use some su substitute for that. That's kind of easy, easy enough. Uh, then if you're not comfortable with tabu and you're used to using bidet, I would really suggest buying one. It's quite easy to install and it's one of the best investment that you can have in your house. Being a Filipino or an Asian, it's really nice to use a bidet from everyday use, right? So it's kind of cheap and it's easy to install. And of course, you need some toilet cleaners. So I really suggest buying that as well. The next, let's talk about security. If you're like moving to a place where you feel like you're an unsafe, especially like you're, feels like you're staying like in a hood-like kind of place, so it's best for you to bring something in order for you to protect or to have like evidence to protect you during some time. For example, I would really suggest if to buy a pepper spray. Yep, that will be super easy kind of defense for you. And it's kind of cheap. It only costs like 10 to like $20. And it's a good investment. Especially if you're like staying alone in an apartment and like most likely if you're a girl. So that will be a good uh, self-defense for you. So I would really suggest buying one. Uh, for us here in my house, we installed like a ring or a blink uh, security system. The reason why I wanted to install the blink because some of the packages that I've been ordering has been like being stolen and no one's like able to see or witness it and most of the time we're working night shift so we are sleeping so having the blink system really helped us a lot by seeing what happens to our package from everyday life so it is kind of good investment even just buying for the door ring bell it would really help you like having a sense of security and i would really suggest buying one if you could for us, we bought the set because we wanted to be more secure, so I added some more cameras. I think I have a total of four cameras installed, or sorry, five cameras. So they're like um, uh, bought in during a discount price and like a uh, group price, so it was cheaper. Okay, the next category will be the clothes. Uh, of course, number one, you really need some hangers. You do need to hang your uniforms before you start working. So if you don't have any transportation or public transportation, it's best for you to order these things ahead. So of course, you need some soap so for the soap here uh, most of the time they prefer using like a liquid type of soap but there's a lot of options as well so so one thing i can give some tip about like using soaps here in the united states for a washing machine they would just recommend you to use like a one scoop like a one like cover for your laundry i think that's enough uh, they said having too much soap will cause some problems with your machine on the long run so it's best just to use one then for the dryer part, if you're not a uh, fan of like ironing clothes, it's so best to you to buy some dryer paper or dry sheets. So this will really help like uh, making your clothes like more dry or more like ironed after you do the dryer. So you don't really have to iron them. But one tip here is for you to fold your clothes as soon as you can after the dryer stops. <clears throat> because if you take some time like a few hours or maybe a day or two, then you decided to fold, then it won't really be that straight anymore. So it's best to do that as soon as the dryer finishes. So just in case, you also need to buy some iron uh, they're kind of cheap like 10 to like 20 dollars so you can just choose the cheaper ones and uh, iron board you can buy one but you don't really have to you can just use your bed uh, when you're ironing your clothes 
Also, in most apartments that I went to, sometimes they only have like spaces for your hangers. So either you can buy a lot of hangers or you can buy some clothes organizers. So some of them can be like hang on the hanger in like different divisions for you to put in some of like your socks, your tish, your other clothes, your foldable things. So you can buy those as well. So before your car arrives, it's best for you to buy a cell phone holder because most of the time you won't be able to know what direction or which direction you're going so you really need to use your ways or your google maps in order for you to get home or to go to places so having a cell phone holder is a must okay so this is one of the most flexible thing that you can buy online just take note here as much as possible don't stick on your windshield because there are laws that prohibits you from like having your vision covered because of these things so it's best to put them under like your dashboard or on the level of your dashboard that's what they recommend uh also like things i watch in tiktok uh, so they would recommend having those kind like a setting so for me i bought a cell phone holder that hooks on the like a uh, vent part or the air is easy part so it's easy here for me to look in the middle because if you're alone coming here to the united states Bruh. and no one can help you like navigate and you don't have anyone to hold the cell phone for you while you're driving so it's really hard for you to drive or to like go to your destination it will be like actually more risky so it's best for you to have like a cell phone holder I will definitely suggest to you guys to subscribe to Amazon Prime. So this means that your delivery will be faster or usually the next day. So this is really helpful for you. And you get to have some Prime access for the Prime app for watching shows here in the United States. Or like it's kind of like a Netflix but it's a different version. Uh, also do this for like about 3 months. This will make your life more easier. I think for the first 30 days it will be free. I think the price for the Amazon Prime will be around $14 or $15. Something like that. So it's not bad. Uh, until now we're still using the prime because we order a lot of things from amazon so it's kind of like our shopee back home in the philippines but it's usually more reliable so it's better here there's no anxiety of having de being delivered like soap or like a stone or something like that so it never happened here in the united states and next will be for the tools i would really suggest buying a like a electric cordless impact driver or as a screwdriver it would really make your life easier especially for those dads coming here or those moms coming here and you need to build things for your like your children at your house to, like fix things having an impact or a screwdriver a cordless one would really make your life easier definitely it's one of the things i use every day here in the us and it's been with me for like almost like two years now and i'm really happy that i bought one uh like i can build some cribs i can build some like uh like fixing the doors like stairs or anything like broken that has to do with woodwork so it's kind of easy enough and you can just use like google or youtube to how to use these kind of things and most of the times these are really affordable it's kind of like just like one hour worth of your salary here in the us so it's not that heavy but it's best to have it around because it will definitely make your life easier just don't forget to buy the nails as well okay then if you notice i didn't discuss anything about the living room because i don't think you really need to have those during the time when you arrive here in the us so we're just talking about the things that are really urgent for you to have when you arrive uh, i'll be discussing more about those kind of things on the next video uh things that i would suggest buying or things that will make you comfortable staying here in the united states i uh, will discuss it per the categories like for the car for the living room for the bathroom utilities uh laundry utilities and and all kind of things so i'll try to discuss them in more details okay then if you arrive here during the winter i would suggest buying some of those things of course you need some gloves especially if you're getting out or going out it really takes a toll on your fingers when it's really winter like really cold and if you want to buy one you have to get those that are like has something to do with the finger where you can touch your cell phones this will definitely be more convenient for you and of course, you have to buy some jackets or ear muffets or something like a like a hoodie or some uh, bonnet. They will really help. Then if the heater in your apartment is not really that strong, I can suggest buying some heater as well, a portable one. You can even just buy the smaller ones. They can really keep you warm during those winter times. So again, these things are only meant if you don't have any transportations. So hopefully, guys, you learned from this video. If you did... Please help me support by clicking the like button and subscribe button. And please share it with your friends. Again, I'm Nurse Juan de la Cruz, your OFW nurse. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye. Stay safe.